Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and all eyes on this atmospheric river set up for the west coast from the Pacific Northwest down to California's High Sierra. And then that storm will break loose into the Intermountain West next week. So we've got a good amount of snow. Let's just put it that way on the horizon. Uh, we'll start out with the big picture here across the Pacific. You can see the storm track. This is the water vapor satellite. So the reds and oranges typically mean drier air or less water vapor at that particular level. And when you start to see the grays, the blues, and the greens, that's where you're, you're looking at moisture transport um, in the atmosphere. And it's just nailing the Pacific Northwest right now. And it's all kind of rotating around that big area of low pressure up in the Gulf of Alaska. It's sending little, little spokes like spokes on a wheel around and then into the West Coast. Well, the whole thing is going to sink south. And it's going to absolutely nail the high Sierra. Weak to moderate atmospheric river. That's the way it's being um, labeled as far as intensity. And in fact, I was just looking at these forecasts. Take a look uh, for integrated vapor transport uh, right along the coast there. It's out uh, near San Francisco. It's a week to, in, in some cases, forecast to be moderate between uh, the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th there in the high Sierra. You can kind of see that and the different model runs. So uh, what this will do is it's going to deliver some very heavy snow. We're going to measure it in feet. And the key level, I think, in the Sierra is probably going to be about 5,000 feet. If you can get to 5,000 or above between Tahoe and Mammoth, you're looking at in excess of three feet, four feet, five feet. I mean, in some of these places, and, and I'm not kidding, it's going to be it's going to be pretty heavy. So that's the way that is shaking out right now. Let's take a look at some of the uh, the future positions of, um, of this on the uh, the American model, the GFS, the interpretation here. I'll just move this into the future. I mean, they're getting you're getting nailed up there in the Pacific Northwest right now, and Whistler down through Timberline, down to Bachelor, Rainier, Stevens Pass, all these places, 25 to 50 inches, uh, pretty easily. And then the whole load drops south, so this is Monday morning right here. And notice at this point um, that fire hose of moisture, that atmospheric river, is starting to affect Shasta in, in, a, in a pretty significant way down to Tahoe and then just reaching Mama. Move this in. Look at those deep blues. That is some really heavy snow. So this is Tuesday morning, still getting nailed. Monday, Tuesday, probably the key day is for Tahoe to Mammoth to get, to get the heaviest uh, load of precip. And then, so this is the 14th. On the 14th, the low breaks loose and moves into the interior. Um, this is the start of the, the Utah's Wasatch getting hit, Idaho and the Tetons, southwest Montana. Uh, and then it moves into Colorado's high country. So this is Tuesday night. Here's Wednesday morning. By Wednesday morning, it's still snowing in the Wasatch in Wyoming and in Colorado. I think this one's going to favor the western slope high country again in Colorado. Um, and by the time we get into Wednesday night, it's beginning to move away. And by Thursday morning, it's over in Colorado. And already looking at the next storm system sliding down the west coast and into the, the high Sierra by Thursday morning. So um, we've got some action here. We've got some significant snow amounts. And I was putting together my forecast this morning. We'll do this in two phases. So this is basically today through the 13th. Um, nothing in Utah, Colorado, moderate amounts in Wyoming. Um, but look at the amounts up in Schweitzer. So you're getting some of that blow off from this atmospheric river, and it's going to deliver a foot or more up there in Schweitzer between today and the 13th. Should be excellent skiing, probably your biggest snow of the season so far. Whitefish will get some of that blow off. And um, up into parts of uh, BC, western, uh, eastern BC, western Alberta, yeah, 6 to 12, somewhere in that area. It's more of a blow off. Um, from the atmospheric river, but the big totals anywhere from two feet to plus maybe three feet down a bachelor. You can see that in the Pacific Northwest. And then just starting to get that uh, those big numbers down there um, into the Sierra between Shasta, Heavenly, uh, Kirkwood, Tahoe, down to uh, Mammoth at that point. So that's phase one. Let's look at phase two. So between the 14th and the 18th, there's still some leftover snow there on the 14th in the Sierra. I mean, that's why some of these grand totals are going to be three, four, five, maybe a six foot. I mean, there's going to be a lot of snow if this thing delivers in, in the high Sierra. And again, these are mid-mountain totals. But like I was saying, the key level is going to be 5,000 in uh, the high Sierra for this. Um, 
And now up in the Pacific Northwest, that next storm already moving in. So this 14th to 18th period captures some of that new snow moving in. Let's focus on Utah and Colorado. So when this low breaks loose and brings some of that AR moisture into the interior, looking at at least a foot. So kind of a one to two foot range there from Park City out to Snowbird, Brighton Solitude down to uh, down to Brian Head. Brian Head's big beneficiary on this. In Colorado, like I was saying, a lot of the snow is going to tilt to the western slope high country. Um, like Aspen Snowmass, Crested Butte, uh, down to Monarch, Silverton again, and Wolf Creek. Another big dump for Wolf Creek. I mean, you had almost three feet out of this last uh, this last storm system, and you're going to get another potentially almost two feet out of this one. So the good times are here. Less on the east side of the Continental Divide, less on the divide, I should say. Summit County up to Loveland. Um, anywhere from probably 6 to 10 inches with this one. So there you go. This is excellent, isn't it? This is, this is fantastic. Love seeing this. We'll bring that uh, atmospheric river down and then throw some of that moisture into the interior. It should be good this weekend and the next week. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here. I'll keep things updated through the weekend. Take care.